it's Angel, and today we are back playing a little to the left. Alrighty, let's get started, shall we? Alright, we are back with Chapter 2, Lost Recipes. In the last episode, we played Chapter 1, obviously. And today we are back with amazing, satisfying sorting. Right, so there we go. Just have them all facing the front. That's one of two ways. We'll come back and do the other way later. Alrighty. I'm gonna do these by the height of the jar, I think. Easy peasy. Spoons. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and save this now. I am starting a new job here soon, so videos may get a little bit less consistent, but I will still try to post whenever I can. So do look forward to that. And I might play more of these like really satisfying games, we'll see. Because there's a few that I really, really like. Bowls are really pretty. I really like them. There we go. Line up the cracks. Funny how they just like all line up like that. All right, more jars of stuff. There we go. Nice gradient of things in the jars. Hey, chicken eggs. I don't know if it's just me, but I actually do this to my egg cartons. Like, if there's only like three eggs left in it, I will make sure they are evenly spaced. Alright, let's get rid of the crumbs. And then we just go ahead and sort the bread ties. Or whatever these things are actually called, but I've always called them bread ties. Because that's really the only place to see them at, is on bread. Fit together like little puzzle pieces, how nice. Like they're holding hands. There we go. Ooh, stickers! Alrighty. Let's see. So this one goes on the pear. This one probably goes on the apple. I think these can just go away. These gray ones. Make sure they're in the middle. Here's the one for the orange. Yoink. Yoink. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, pasta, one of my favorites. Pasta is legitimately probably one of my favorite foods, so. Seems to be going by both size and curviness. So we'll do something like this, maybe? No? Hmm. 
about that. No? Hmm. Oh, I think you need to go over here. And then like that. Perfect. And the cat, once again, causing chaos. <laughs> All right, pretty cups. Perfect. I always love decorative cups like this. There's just something about them that's really pretty and unique. I've actually got one sitting up on my shelf right now that my friend gave me. It's one of the like vintage McDonald's cups. It's got Grimace on it. So this one, I think we're just lining things up on the cups. Perfect, perfect. Setting the table for a nice dinner. Or breakfast, or a nice meal. Kitty, why? Nope, nope. No kitty, no more chaos. Just let me set the table. Alright, looks like we are having breakfast. Everything lines up in a special place on the plate. Alright, and the blueberries. And the toast go? Does the toast go right here? Ah, oh, the toast goes right there. And of course we got the strawberries. Strawberries are probably one of my favorite fruits. Oranges are good too. And then the egg on top of the toast. There we go. Breakfast is served. Cat food or canned stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. This one's hard. No, that's not it. Ooh, there we go. Put those right there, those right there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorted nicely. Oh, postcards. These are pretty. Alright, let's see what we can do here. these line up, the water on these. So that is something. These line up too. And then the water lines up here as well. line up here and the hot air balloon in the sky and the hill right there no hmm oh maybe it goes on the other side so adventure awaits home the hot air balloon, stay a while, greetings, Panko Park, and wish you were here. Perfect. Cute. How cute. 
Alrighty, sorting out the fridge. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Well, that lines up, so that sort of looks right. Hmm. Let me try doing my size again. So this one and this one. Goes on to something with this lining up. Oh, wait a second. I think I see it. Okay. Move this over, move this over, move this over, and then this. Or switch these around. No? Hmm. Maybe move these over. And then have this right here. No? Maybe this on the other side. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I think we're going to have to use a hint for this one because I don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing here other than that these line up. Let me switch these two around. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to use a hint, guys. Alright, racy, racy. Alright, so I was right about the milk being in the middle and this being beside it. Sworn I had him like that at one point, though. Alrighty. So it was like this, like that. Oh, I see it now because these line up, these line up, these line up, that lines up, and then this, like that. I see. There we go. Yeah? No? Is that not how they were in the hint? There we go. Little thing on top there just wasn't in the right spot. Alright, time for some photos. Putting together a story or something here? Alright. So, cat knocks down lamp. Cat knocks down flower pot. Flower pot breaks. Cat tries to knock down water. Wine glass falls? No? Hmm. Wonder if the pins have something to do with it. No. Green, green, red, red, blue. No. Okay. These two probably go beside each other because that would make sense. Oh, wait, maybe the pin has to do with the next slide or the next picture. So...
Cat knocks down flower pot, blue pin, blue picture. So, red pin, red picture? No, oh, because then it's only one green. Unless one goes at the beginning and one goes at the end. Then that doesn't make sense. Hmm. I feel like these two do need to go together, though. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe... Because then these make the whole countertop. No? I am determined to get this, guys, and I don't want to use another hint. Okay. What about this? No? I don't know, guys. I'm stumped, because I don't see a pattern with this. So, we're going to use another hint. There's no shame in using hints, because this is just a relaxing game about figuring things out. Oh, okay. I think I see the pattern here now. It's supposed to be like flow of movement. So cat looks at cup, touches lamp, knocks down flower pot, thing falls, thing breaks. That makes more sense. Alright, so cat... Looks at thing, touches thing, thing knocks thing us over, thing falls, thing breaks. There we go. Sometimes it makes more sense when it's all done and you're like, oh, okay, I see the movement. All right. And that concludes chapter two. Next time when we play, we will get be getting into chapter three, nitty gritty. Alright, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye!